Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today I am really excited for this because I've had this video idea now written down for a really long time. I thought it would be a really, really fun idea to go to different art stores and spend the same amount of money in each art store and basically see what I can get for the money in each store. Another reason I'm excited for today's video is because not only am I going to Michael's, which is, you know, Michael's is, I love Michael's. I'm also going to be going to a store called Sam Flax, which I've had on my wish list now to visit for quite a long time. I've never been there before, but because I'm going to be in the area very soon, I figured that it would be a good opportunity for me to actually check the store out, see what I can get, see if it's as good as I've heard it is. So yeah, today I'm going to be spending $50 in Michaels and Sam Flax to see what products I can get, how much I can get for my money. But also I want to buy things that I've not bought before, but will use. So I'm not just going to take $50 and just buy a bunch of random crap. I'm going to really think through what I'm buying. I feel like if you've got a budget and you're going into an art store, you're kind of going there with the mindset that you want to get a good amount of stuff that's probably going to be working together. So I'm going to get art supplies and art tools that work together. If you'd like to see me do this with a smaller budget or a bigger budget or in different art stores like Jerry's Artarama or Blick, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and if this video gets a good amount of thumbs up and comments, I will head to those stores as well. But yeah, do let me know. And before we start, I want to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and I'll talk a little bit more about them later on in the video. So yeah, I think it's about time we get shopping and let's get started. So we're at Sam Flax today. Since I was in the area for the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot, I figured that I would stop by here because I've never been before. I've heard of it and I think there's, they have a couple of locations, but I'm just so excited to go in. I've never been here before, so I'm really excited to see what they've got. They have a bunch of murals all the way down the building. I would love to paint a mural on a wall for a video one day. Oh, hi. Today we're in Sandflex. This, this store is huge. It has an upstairs. It's just massive, it goes on forever. Way bigger than it seems like it is outside. So they have a ton of different drawing books here. That's a really good price. A lot of their books are so decently priced, which is unusual for a store that sells books. So the plan is today, I'm gonna visit two or three different art stores and spend $50 in each one to see which one I can get the most stuff for. Oh, I found the perfect book for me. Awesome. For those that don't know, I was being sarcastic. I hate alcohol. <laughs> I love the Van Gogh. Someone's been playing with the hands. They have paper in literally every shape, colour and size you can imagine. Cardstock, envelopes. So if you like paper, this is your place. <laughs> they have a giant section of canvases. Huge. And here is the paint section. Literally a dream. I, this reminds me of the warehouse I went to in California that had all of this paint. This is the most paint I've ever seen in a, an art store. Next to that one. And there's another aisle of it. <gasps> That's so much. I feel like I've never seen this before. <laughs> I never really know where to buy this kind of thing to actually make my own canvases, but if you need it, I have this whole section here. And then back here on this wall, there are even more canvases. There's so many. What is the brand they use in here, I wonder? Art Alternatives? Also, during this challenge, I want to focus on not getting art supplies that I already either have or like to use all the time. I want to try and branch out a little bit and do something different, so I'd rather not go for acrylic paint. What do you think you're doing? No. We have some at home. <laughs> I'm back. Don't need paintbrushes. I already have a lot of those at home. The temptation to buy more paintbrushes is real. I also don't really need any more canvases unless they're in a unique size. So if they are in a unique size, I will add that to my to my list. Excuse me, sir. Just... <laughs> I just found this puzzle. This is the exact picture I have on the back of my wall in my art studio in the background and it's a puzzle that you can actually do. That's so cool. Oh they have a they have a bag. <gasps> I like this bag. Liquid acrylic. I've never heard of that before. Maybe I'm a fake artist but I've never heard of that. It's very cool though. I did find some waxy crayons which I'm tempted to use, but then it's like an, a waxy crayon, which I don't really like pastels, that type of thing, but I kind of wanted, I'm kind of tempted to use them at some point. Vincent Pro? Why have I never heard of this before? 
So since I'm picking up art supplies that I have virtually zero experience with, this is when Skillshare comes in handy because they have thousands of classes averaging around an hour long in all things art, specific art supplies, business, marketing, photography, illustration, and a ton more. So if you're looking to learn about a new art supply like myself or how to use it and you want something more in depth than just a regular video, check out the link in the description for the first 1,000 people to get a one month free trial to unlimited classes on Skillshare's online learning community. Millions of people use Skillshare for a good reason. It's really great because the classes have a combination of not just video lessons, but class projects. So when you complete the class, you can post your project and get feedback from both the teacher and the community. It's perfect for creatives who want to take the next step in their creative journey, whether you're a lifelong learner, working creative, beginner, pro, dabbler, or master. Part is there are new premium classes launching all the time. Plus, if English is not your first language, their entire catalog of classes is now available with subtitles in English, Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. And as always, I recommend a class when I talk about Skillshare. So today's recommendation is Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity by Andy J. Pizza, where he teaches you exercises and techniques to find your style based on your personality and interests. And it's just a fantastic class and really upbeat and fun. I'm half tempted between watercolors as well as maybe like the, I found some Karandash Neo something wax sticks. <laughs> I, I wanna get something that I don't have a lot of. Like I only have like one, watercolour palette and it's kind of a mess now. I don't have even watercolour tubes. I do have some watercolour pencils but not many so I'm thinking maybe watercolour or oil pastels but again I don't really like pastels. But... This is the first time I've ever seen the Marabou graphics pens in a store. I always see them in subscription boxes. I had I've never seen them in a store before. They even have oil pastels here. I'm not sure how good these ones are gonna be but I'm really tempted to maybe get a combination of pastels and maybe watercolours. Look, it's the thing that I paint. I'm gonna get this pencil. This is an actual lead holder and I love these pencils so much and I just find them really beneficial. This is 825. This is the cheapest kind of heavy metal uh, lead holder I could find. But I really need one of these. I've lost mine like two years ago. So I think this is gonna be something beneficial that I'm gonna need and I recommend highly. Okay, so the Caran d'Ache Neo Color, that's what they are, they're water soluble wax pencils. I feel like these are gonna work nicer than the pastels. I was kinda like trying them out on the paper and they work, they're so nice. And I feel like they're gonna be a little bit less messy. I don't know if they blend, no they don't. So they're not gonna be as messy then. They're not gonna be as messy. So I kind of want to try these. And they're 225 each, so I'm thinking I might get, say, 10 of these. And I can get 10 nice, decent colours just to start off with. I have my pencil, which is 825, so I'm around the $30 mark. So I really like this red. I need to figure out how you actually like sharpen these because I'm not sure. I'm going to get a green because I love green. Maybe a blue, an orange. I like this blue. I love this kind of blue. But I also want to get more greens, so this green is a good green. Oh, what? I've got to get a white one. So three, six, seven. So these are the ten that I'm going to go with. That's my twenty-two fifty. I have no clue how to use these, how you like what you do with them, but I'm going to get them because I think it's going to be nice if I. I'm trying to think if I would want different colours of paper or if I'd want just regular paper. I'm gonna get this pastel paper. This is 11.36 and it's in a bunch of different gray tones. So I just watched a really quick video on YouTube and someone was suggesting you can actually mix it with gesso. So I just watched a quick video on YouTube and someone in the comments was mentioning that you can actually mix the Neo Color Aquarel Caran d'Ache um, wax pastels with gesso. Also, you can use water with it to kind of blend it with a paintbrush. So I might get a little bit of gesso just to try that. I'm not sure if that's even a thing or if I just misread it, but I may get some watercolor paper instead of pastel paper because of that and then maybe just get like a basic paintbrush that I don't already have. The total we're at is currently around $41, $42, so I'm getting close to my target goal. I need to find some gesso that's like $6. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a thing, and if I can find like a mini gesso or something. 51 78 
Perfect, thank you. Success! I spent 51.78, which was close enough, and that was a very successful, very successful trip. This store is amazing, so if you are here for vacation, then definitely check it out. I think they have a couple locations. It's amazing. They apparently just did these murals as well, like this month or so. They are beautiful. We're now gonna head over to Michael's and see what they have there. Okay, I'm in Michael's now. And I'm thinking maybe I'll get something wooden because they have a lot of cool wood things you can paint here and maybe not so much supplies or maybe paint pens. My mind's all over the place but I'm just thinking of something a bit unique so we'll have a look what they've got. I'm also not very uh, familiar with this particular Michaels, I've just never been here so this was just like the close one. The thing though about Michaels that's good is that you can get coupons in here so chances are it's going to be cheaper in here and I'm going to be able to get more things for $50 so generally the coupons at the moment are about 20% off so for example I'm looking at the inks because I really really love ink um, and I love the Dr. PH Martins one these are $65 but with a coupon it's gonna bring it down $12 so $13 so still close but it's gonna bring it down I'm really seriously thinking about getting some inks because I do really like ink a lot so your best bet when buying art supplies is always to try and get things in a set because you'll obviously get it cheaper. Okay, so Dana and Rowney for $37 has this set, the water mixable. I've not heard of these ones, but Dana and Rowney is a pretty decent brand. Just found some small sets of oil colors. These are water mixable and they are $35. So that means I'm gonna get $7 off. I've decided to go with these because I feel like I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. I'll give it a go again in the video because I've only used oils once before and it didn't go very well from memory. So I'm going to get these because I think it's a good deal for 20 tubes and oil is going to last you way longer as well because it just does. <laughs> okay, so we have some soap here, like brush cleaner. Pink soap is $5. So I'm definitely going to get myself some of that. That takes me to like $35, which means I have another $15 to spend. And I think I'm going to get some sort of maybe... I do not own a paintbrush that looks like this. This one is $12.99. It's very floppy. And I feel like this would be very beneficial when it comes to oil. I already have a ton of filberts and shaders because I have my own paintbrushes um, that already include that. So I'm probably going to get one of these, which takes me to another $10. So I have about $5 left to spend. Okay, so um, my friend Ray is the queen of oil paints and I just remembered that instead of using canvases, she uses gesso boards. So I'm gonna maybe see if I can get a gesso board that's within the like $5 budget. <laughs> the canvases right now are actually 40% off. So that's good, but um, we'll see. I mean, like things like this, we have panels for $8. I don't have to get anything too big. It's just basically to try and find an art medium that I can use for that $50 budget. I don't have dressing boards that I can find, uh, so I'm just gonna get these flat panels. I would have preferred the dressing boards because they're completely smooth, but this will be fine. These are currently $8, so I'm gonna get like $1.60 off. So that one came to $51.95 from Michaels, which is amazing because it's like a few cents off of what the other place was so i think we got a good amount of stuff today i am gonna go ahead and keep this safe and when i eventually get back to my studio i am gonna show you everything that i bought i'm back i filmed this video a few weeks ago and i'm finally getting around now to actually showing you everything that i got up close so for sound flax i actually spent 51.78 and Michael's, I don't know where the receipt went, I'll put it on the screen, but I spent right around that price at Michael's as well. So Sam Flax, I believe they have a couple different locations in the US and it is a fantastic, fantastic store. If you were an artist and you know that you're gonna be around one, I highly recommend going in there. It's just an art lover's dream, basically. Perhaps an unfair advantage because Michael's is a, a big corporation, but they do have coupons. So in Sam Flax, the first thing I bought, these crayons right here. So these are by Karen Dash. They are water-soluble wax pastel, Neo Color 2 aquarelle wax pastels. <laughs> so I got light cobalt blue, which is this one right here. I got mauve light blue lilac orange chromium oxide green apricot light olive and lime green there is also a white 
These were only a couple of dollars each, so I managed to get quite a nice amount of them, which was a good thing. And I'm really excited to try these because I've never used these before, and I used to like crayons as a kid, but this is like a crayon but much better, basically. So I also got some gesso from Liquitex. I saw on a YouTube video about these pastels, you can mix them with gesso to make a somewhat paint. Whether I'm gonna use this or not, I'm not sure, but um, I can always use gesso for literally everything that I do anyway, so it wasn't a waste. Next up, I got a lead holder professional from Pacific Arc. Now, I absolutely love lead holders. They're basically a regular pencil without the wood. So you can kind of, they're retractable, like a retractable pencil. They're very good. They're quite expensive, which is why I went for the somewhat cheaper one, um, but they all, they all do the same thing. And last but not least, I also bought a Strathmore watercolor travel pad because I felt that the pastels would work really well on a watercolor pad like this. Um, I also really liked the size. I think the size is really nice. So that is everything that I got for $50. Um, of course, I got some higher quality stuff. You could easily, easily stretch $50 to more products if you buy cheaper things or slightly less decent quality but everything that i bought here is high quality products but the purpose of this video was to say hey for 50 dollars you can pretty much get an entire medium's worth of products where you can really try something out so i'm gonna share everything i got from michael's now but i'm curious which items and products you would prefer or which haul you think is better for 50 dollars so michael's i found the winsor and newton artisan water mixable oil colors you have 20 tubes here and I'm really excited about this because I've never seen this set before. I don't know if I've just not been looking in the oil section, which is probably the case. But basically, I figured that this would be a really good way to try them out without spending a lot of money. I also got some 8x8 canvas panels because I personally really like painting on panels that are thinner. I did try to find some gesso board. I couldn't find any in Michael's. I also got myself some pink soap brush cleaner because I actually don't own any brush cleaner, which is shameful as an artist, I know. And last but not least, I bought a Princeton Level 2 Oval Mop 3 quarter inch brush. I do not own a brush like this. A lot of you that know my brush set that I released recently does not have a brush like this in it. So I figured this would be quite nice to use. That was everything from Michaels. I could have bought more products, obviously, but I wanted to buy something that I myself would use. So yeah, let me know which haul you prefer. Do you prefer the one from Sam Flex or do you prefer the one from Michaels and which would you use more? So I would really, really like to try out some of these products. I am gonna make a video trying oil paints again um, because I've only tried them one time and I really would like to give it a go again so I'm not going to use these today because I am going to make a full-blown video on that coming up soon but I really 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 want to give these a little go nothing too fancy but I think we should just we should try them see what they're like so yeah let's get started okay so after I began swatching these I realized that they are incredible they're so creamy and fun to use and I really would like to make a video on them at some point so I'm not really going to go into too much detail here plus the video is like 20 minutes long so I don't want to make it much longer but these are fantastic. They blend so nicely and I just did a very 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 quick 20 minute landscape here just to kind of take them for a bit of a test drive. Basically imagine a Crayola crayon but for grown-ups that's basically what these are they work really well on the watercolor paper i'm not too sure if they'd be even better on pastel paper but this worked perfectly fine for me again i would like to make a video of its own on these to really sort of give it its own feature but i thought i would put this in the end here just showing you me trying them out for the first time because people tend to complain when i don't make art in a video so yeah this is this is what i made do you like it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much once again for watching i really really hope that you did enjoy it let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me try this again in a different store or with a different budget and yes for now thanks for watching take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video